the 24 days of Christmas, power went out from me. In the marsh of late autumn, early winter, the land portrays its excellent appeal. People appear in groups on their morning walk. They walk, but I do not walk. They talk, but I do not talk. All which they do I have done, but no longer. Travel and travail, friends and foes, business and disembellishments. Each world is quite a tangle. Suppose one could have the simplest life, born on a beautiful night to a loving family, a childhood in a simple village, making things of stone and wood under the gaze of his father, every night to disappear and to have long talks with his spiritual father, who was at a distance, but was not. These things occurred in Palestine, <clears throat> on the eastern shore of the great Middle Sea. One rainy day is vividly remembered, it typical of many, clouds coming up from the sea and a westerly wind. Their skirts were caught upon the watershed, while the rest hurried, raining over the great city, Jerusalem. Blue sky broke between. The wet housetops and the green and gray of the surrounding hills glistened with a brief reflection. Then the gap closed, and beneath the compact pall, all became dark, the olive groves turning to black, and the limestone ridges by contrast to a white, as of long bleached bones. The wind was chill and mournful, and brought to our minds the keynote of an ancient dirge from Scripture. When the Lord beclouds with his wrath the daughter of Zion, the climate and geography of earth tell the tales of all which we must know. The shepherd, the tiller of the earth, the lonely mariner upon the sea, these are ever listening to you. At night, a black sky with extremely brilliant stars, the city not yet fallen asleep, sparkled with tiny lights. Each night was like that night in Bethlehem. The world hushed and was ripe with joy. Yet what occurred is greater than all that has been said. The soul and infinite power in all the cosmos came to earth as an infant human. Immortality came as mortality. We cannot touch your person, for we are unclean until you make us clean. So that, so that like the hemorrhagic woman, we fearfully touch the hem of your garment. That same moment is the moment the child appeared in human flesh, for it was the same power. Same power has gone out from me. It need not be spoken. It simply was. Our immortality, our mortality was bleeding out, as was hers, and we would die. And where would we go? There is nowhere but you. The world throngs and jostles about you, but they may not touch you. In Judea of that moment, we did touch you, shepherds and kings, from the bottom to the world up to the top. From thence and every day, people strove to touch you, Mary, Joseph, Bethlehemites, brothers, sisters, and ultimately lepers, blind, lame, hungry, destitute. You were crowded into the sea by the wailing masses. We all have a great longing to touch you. It is given to us by faith, the faithfulness of your work to sanction us to holiness and to immortality. If that we are saved, we are essentially saved at the moment we are conceived an infant touching an infant. Our blood is changed into a holy flowing within us as the wine at Cana. Your power is the sum of all virtue that exists, and it has been given us as gold to enrich our lives, frankincense to sanctify us, and myrrh to carry our body and soul from mortality to everlasting life. 
We will be pure forever, as pure as the child in the manger. Amen.